Justin Johnson, reporting for Channel 2 News on this July 11th, 1878. In local news, a farmer was brutally attacked by a, a group of wild dogs. In other news, President Rutherford B. Hayes recently fired Chester Arthur, who I'm being told was an important patron to the White House. We have Hal Havens on the scene reporting. Thank you, Chuck. I'm here now with President Rutherford B. Hayes after a surprising decision to fire Chester Arthur. Uh, Mr. President, what drove you to make this decision? I believe that the spoil system was in effect here. Also, I felt that we should have qualified representatives in office. Mr. President, how will this make the country better, or how will it affect it at all? I think that the government has become too corrupt, so I believe that this move will help a warning. Oh my God. Thank you, Chuck. I'm here now with President Rutherford B. Hayes after a surprise decision to fire Chester at Arthur. Mr. President, what drove you to make this decision? I believe that the spoil system was in effect here. Also, I think that we should have a qualified representative in office. Thank you, Chuck. I'm here now with President Rutherford B. Hayes after a surprise decision to fire Chester Arthur. Mr. President, what drove you to make this decision? I believe that the spoil system was in effect here. Also, I felt that we should have a qualified representative in office. Mr. President, how will this affect the country? How will it make it better? I think that the government has become too corrupt, so I believe that this move will be a warning to any other officials who feel the government is a sumo kumarade place. With such a risky move right here, how will it affect your supporters or future voters? Since all you know, I am not running for a second term. It really doesn't matter whether I get the help of supporters or not. Do you have any future plans to destroy the whole spoil system, sir? My whole plan is to reform the civil service spectrum for non-elected workers. Those actions will upset many people, including some members of my own party. This is, also, is my plan. Thank you for your time, sir. Back to you, Chuck. Thanks, Hal. And now we'll be back after this brief message from our commercial break. Give me Christmas time again. And what better present than for fresh apples from Chuck Norris' that boy? So come on down here and, and buy some fresh apples for all your relatives. <laughs> back. Now let's take it over to our newsroom analysts for our words of the day. The first word is summa cum laude, which means of the highest class. And patron means an elected official. Now that'll wrap it up for all of us here at Channel 2. Um, have a nice day. <laughs> Stop. Stop.